3.30 in the morning. Nobody looks good in their gear at 3.30 in the morning, but we have an early morning flight. And today, I'm gonna to be flying in full bluff gear. Let's go. Well, I would say probably the uh, most complicated part of flying in full leather is just making it through TSA. Had to get my boots off. It wasn't a big deal, though. Then, of course, there's the full pat-down by the TSA agent. Just like that. Ready to go. Probably the trickiest part of wearing full leather when you travel is that you're going to get a pat-down when you go through TSA. The reason for that is the screener can't really read through the leather, it kind of bounces off the leather, so they have to give you the pat down. If you're super respectful towards the screening agent, they're going to be super respectful towards you. It was not a big deal whatsoever. But now, I've got to get to my gate. See you there. that handsome devil behind me, Scott Love Biker. Oh, hi. He's been my uh, principal photographer. So I'm gonna fully admit, this right here, this is probably as far out of my comfort zone as I've ever been, flying in full bluff gear. But the thing I have to tell myself is exactly what we've been saying with Gear 365 all along. So much of the fear, the reservation, lives inside our own heads. And this right here is actually one of the most freeing experiences that I've ever had. Because I'm reminding myself that it is perfectly okay to be who I am. And that's what I want you to remember too. That it is perfectly acceptable to be who you are as well. Welcome aboard. This has not been a big deal whatsoever. I mean, I've gotten a few looks. Actually, somebody I really... had someone comment about my boots. Yeah. I'm wearing my West Coast right now. He really liked his West Coast, wanted to know where he got them. So, struck up a few conversations, but overall, it's been a really positive experience. Watch out for those x-rays reflecting off that leather. From TSA. Yeah. that. So how did it go? Uh, you know, it went really well. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you, when I started off this morning, I was pretty nervous. I was feeling really self-conscious. I felt like a lot of people were looking at me and staring. I had to really push my own comfort level today. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this in full bluff gear, you know. I realized that most of that insecurity was inside of myself. That this is perfectly acceptable. And the more I step out there in a world like this, the more you gain visibility and acceptance for the entire community. And that's a really important thing. So if I can do this, you can do this. Gear 365, no fear in gear. I'll see you out there.